So it seems like Carter knows everything now. Because you see at the end, Drew and Carter basically walk in the door. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew told me everything. He was like, so y'all working with this Noma chick? He like, all right, so y'all gonna have to give me this information. <laughs> he was like, the reason why y'all all still alive is because of Drew. Because he said, I want some fucking honesty. So I'm like, oh, man. But see, it got quite interesting because, again, like Carter, he came in and it's just like, all right, his, his cop is dead. And, and now it's just like, okay what to do with this this new information right now i kind of like how the the conversation went with like Tariq and diana because he was telling her he was like yeah technically he had to kill a dirty cop and ray ray because ray ray killed the sister and then he said he till his day he still feels the guilt about it even though he should because technically he did get his sister killed right and for diana's case it's, it's a little bit different because it's like she kind of got roped up into all of this and Felicia didn't know that Diana was pregnant, so when she was beating her, again, she lost the baby, which was confirmed that she did lose the baby, as we see in the beginning when Tariq was at the hospital with Diana, and, you know, he was crying, he was just like, you know, I'm so sorry, because they got the news, and I guess with Diana, it, it was like, nobody was really there for her, which I kind of like with the conversation with he had with Tasha, where it was like, yeah, nobody was really there for her, because she had, you know, her family was all there at one point and then even Tariq was there but then since in this situation she felt alone nobody was there so everybody's saying no, no we got this we trying to help you but she's like no 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 no. she because she had to deal with this alone so it's like she had to do this herself so it was it was really good because it was like yeah this was technically Diana's first kill she killed the cop but then you find out that Felicia had a son so it's like oh man so it makes the situation even worse and then the son saw both of them he saw both Tariq and Diana. So I'm like, oh, man, that's that's another thing that's right there. So it's, oh, it's, it was good. It was good. And then we got to see more on. Well, we, we, we did get to see like Rashard Tate because he showed up and he's like asking, you know, Carter questions. He's like, oh, what happened to my brother? So he's like, promise you we're going to handle this. And then for him to say it was the Russians, like the Russians did it. So it's like, OK, the Russians. But then Nico and everybody else. No, Nico and Felicia was like, okay, Russians, and it, it kind of, it doesn't make sense, like, the story, as what he said, it was, like, the Russians, and I don't know, like, I feel like Nico isn't buying it, because when they bust in into the, um, I guess, like, the, 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 the apartment, and it was like, oh, like, you know, we, we're going to try to find the guy that killed Kamal, and then they found, well, they found the gun that matches the ballistics, but it wasn't really true, so Nico was just, like, looking like, okay, like, you show this the guy, like, yeah, 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 this is the guy, Oh, good work. Good work. <laughs> it is like, OK, I think Nico's going to be like, nah, because even though Nico said in, when he was at the office, the police office, well, police station, and he was like, well, even though they didn't like Kamal, but Kamal was still a good cop. And that's the and that's the principles of it. He was a good cop. It wasn't he wasn't bad. He was a, was a good cop. So and I mean, Carter's playing games out here. He's playing a lot of chess, a lot of chess out here. And then he got. Rashad Tate in his pocket because he's like well because Rashad is like listen if you need anything I got you I got you and then I think uh, I could see Carter playing that um favor of I think he's gonna probably use that favor in the future I think so I think so if 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 um Rashad Tate doesn't know the truth by then I think he's gonna probably try to use Rashad Tate for something because this ain't gonna be the last time we're gonna see Rashad I think Rashad is gonna return at some point uh maybe maybe in the next episode who knows uh, about like you know uh, the Russians and, and about how his brother died because I think there should be like some sort of memorial or some sort of like big thing for Kamal because since he he died so it, again it's not the Russians that did it it's really Carter and I just can't wait for that information to be exposed but then we got to see um I guess like the the little small fight between like Stokely and uh Tariq because he bust in on him and he was like hey you, we we gonna have to end this little agreement because he was like, it's not like we don't all know that y'all doing drugs. He's like, wait a minute, who 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 told y'all that? But obviously it's Ellie because it's, it's like she's she's coked up as well. Braden is a mess because he's still on the coke as well. So it, it's like, come on, <laughs> it's making things um dangerous around there, and Braden is gonna have to do something about it because it's like Ellie seems like she's telling everything. So I mean, we got that, and then we got uh. Effie and Kane, they showed up to 
uh, 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 Braden's dorm and that's when they was talking for like a little bit and it was like well I need you to uh, get me I need you to help me break into like this place for me to like get the information because she needed Effie needed like the, the laptop from like a dirty cop and that's when they was at the house and it was funny he said Officer Ramirez Gabe was like yeah Officer Ramirez I was like what the fuck yo go on and, and she got what she needed and they found out it was like oh okay so carter's corrupt off a uh, corrupt task force is basically skinning money from the top and now no one knows about this now so it's like okay now she knows about this and then i guess davis tells her about like a proposal on i guess what she could do to i guess clean her money and then that's when we see at the end uh kane is like well if you marry me this can happen this can work and it's like, okay, okay, we're we, we going to see how that's going to play out. We're going to see. And no one's like, well, we ain't getting rid of anybody. We still going to keep Effie because Effie was really useful here in this role. But they still don't know who, like, the, I guess, like, the snitch is, right? But I think King Kane would know. Kane would know because he's like, because he was in the um, elevator. And he was like, I hope you're not roped up into any of this. But he's he's going to he's gonna figure it out. Like, technically, they all roped up into this whole Carter business. They all they all roped up to this whole Carter business, and um, it's just going to be a matter of time until we're going to see Carter versus Noma because now Carter's like, give me any dirty information that you have on Noma. Now, technically, Tariq does have the information; he does, but he's not going to give it up though because when uh, Sax did the information and then he gave it to Agent Young, technically, yeah, Tariq does have the information. But if he gives Carter the information, he will be a dead man by Noma. And if he gives the information to Carter, I don't think Carter's going to let him go so easy. He's going to be like, no, I still have plans to use you even further because he does have the videotape of him killing Zion. So Tariq would be screwed either way. So I think Tariq is going to have to figure out a plan to like handle Carter and Noma at the same time. But I did like the conversation also that he had with Tasha about i guess like the whole revenge and i i guess sort of forgiveness because it's like even though yet yeah, Tariq did talked about you know the past and what they did but then it's like you know they did have a baby together so and then they lost the baby so i don't know and then i kind of do like you know diana still leaning on to Tariq more because i mean they did have something but then it, it ended abruptly so i i do like that as much and i kind of hope they go down this way where Effie's kind of like leaning towards Kane, but Kane is like leaving her and she's kind of like alone at this point because we did see her mom try to call her. So I'm like, okay, so I guess we're going to probably see Effie's mom soon and see what this little interaction is going to be like. But I kind of like how everybody's like moving along in their own way and they're doing their own thing. But Effie's just kind of like left out there in the dust because Kane is going to get married soon and, and, and she's trying to get out the game. But uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know, but overall, I thought this episode was not bad. It wasn't bad at all. Cause, oh, and also too, um, Drew choking out. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically choking out uh, a Roman in the prison cell. He he kills him, and then he gets his freedom. And that's when Curtis like, yeah, man, I know you were smart. I'm gonna use you correctly. So, oh boy, I'm just curious how this this whole showdown is gonna be between Carter versus Noma. I am really curious because once this is going to happen, she's going to be like, hold up here. Something's off here. Who told? And then it's just going to be like, wait a minute. Yeah, nah, somebody's going to have to go here. Somebody's going to have to go here because it's, it's only a matter of time. Even though I was still pissed because I wanted that confrontation to be like Zion versus Noma. But all right, fuck it. I'm all right with Carter because Carter, he, I, I told y'all before, he got it. He, he, he got it. He got that aura about him. Like He got it. So. Yeah, but, you know, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this episode. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you all in the next one.